2006 Sienna Toyota Sienna and check this out so if you can kind of see what's going on here this is the lower pipe that goes uh, the the radiator um, hose on the lower pipe and it's connected to uh, the neck there and I, sus I suspected that this is the area that uh, radiator leak because um, as much as I filled up the uh, um, the reservoir it would always go down to like low or even like nothing in like three or four days and then I saw that it was dripping over here I went to try to unclip this and as soon as I unclipped this the whole neck snapped off and I was like what the hell and so this part right here it was actually made out of plastic and the whole thing just completely snapped off and all the coolant started just gushing out luckily I didn't get burnt or anything like that but right there man so I gotta replace that thing right there but I gotta go through the whole thing of like going taking out all of this taking out the box taking out the battery the, the actual intake duct for the uh, the air and I gotta take all this off so alright so went to Napa got my parts took me a while to figure out what the name of the part was it wasn't called like a it was basically called the thermostat housing because this is where the thermostat goes in so it's like this so basically it's set up in this kind of fashion where it's like all the way in the back so I gotta get all this stuff out here battery out the duct Okay, so we were able to take out everything. We took out the battery, we took out the air duct, and we took out the actual air filter, uh, air filter housing. And then, if you look really carefully, it's this thing right there. That's the one thing that I need to get to. Hopefully I can get to it with all these crazy wires and stuff like that. This is unbelievable how oh, this thing is engineered this way. I don't know what this is. Ugh. All right, there it is. This is the part, see? Bam. Totally snapped off. Okay. Here's the other side off. I had to cut it off. Now we gotta put this guy in here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh.
All right, so here it is. The new pipe is in. As you can see, it's nice and fresh. It took me a while to actually get this pipe in there because there's all these wires. And I got it back there. Lots of wires and apparently the starter was kind of like in the way so I had to actually unbolt it and take it out just a little bit so that I can slide the pipe through. But man, that's a lot of work. But yep, it's in there now. I gotta now I'm just gonna put in the uh, uh, the new pipe and then see see what goes on from there. Looks like it might have gone just a little bit over that line there. But yeah, looks good. 